three years ago who are back here tonight going for another title. We're underway. One and only meeting between these two teams was a classic, a shootout. 90-86 Drexel in Philly. That was on February 29th. The rematch unfolds here tonight. And I think having those guys who've been through that championship experience is worth something. Three key guys, won a title. Miss for Stevenson Moore to begin play here tonight. In a league full of really good point guards, Justin Moore is outstanding. Third team, and this is such a deep league at that spot. Here's Williams looking for a roll. Back iron doesn't drop for him. Best player on each team with the first shot. That's the way it should be. Coaches like that. Turned over. Snowdy lost the handle. And it comes away to Drexel. Here we go, Drexel. Here we go. Justin Moore, sophomore. Third team all CA this year. Oak Cruz team captain again. Good feed down low. Finish from Monroe. Oak Cruz, that coach on the floor. What a beautiful backdoor pass. Mark, fantastic life tonight against Northeastern in the first round. No hesitation for the transfer from Sacred Heart. Spin move, it's Mito for two. And again, that was off the penetration by Aaron Clark. Got to stay in front of those guards if you're Drexel. Cut for Ocris. I was trying to find the handle. 13 to shoot here for Drexel. They settle down here in the half court. Ocris with five. Here's House. Up top. Whoa! Deep three. An old celebration for Luke House. Nearly a 40% three point shooter. No more for his work ethic than his three point shooting, but that was a big one right there early in this game. Jack Spiker raved about the amount of time that Luke House puts into. His pregame preparation throughout the week. Sometimes two workouts a day when they practice. Calls him the morning machine. practice and then an evening workout. And Clark delivers from deep. Couple threes from the star guards of each team. Clark with 19 last night was three of seven from long range. Huge factor. Monroe spins, reverse layup, not there, and Snowdy. Defensive glass for Stony Brook. Clark again, good penetration. Snowdy, tough pass to catch. Mido, just inside the free throw line for two. Yeah, the penetration again breaks the defense down, disrupts the coverage, and made Mido has been the uh, beneficiary twice. Seven plus points a game. Second for Mido on the team in rebounding. Uh, great start offensively. Williams to take. No finish to the rebound. Amari, stick back for two. He is really a dominant player on both ends of the floor. He sets up their defense by protecting the rim. And on the offense, he's a, he's a good facilitator. Clark step back, coach. Tough shot, way along. Rebound for Monroe. For Moore, who's running? Floating, hitting, Lucas Monroe. The pin transfer, he, they call him the energy guy on that team, on a team full of energy guys. No shortage of energy on a Zach Spiker coach team, that's for sure. No, <laughs> that not is, allowed. That is Coach Spike by definition. Here's Noel, the old school YMCA game. Case in point, scoop to the hoop for two, he's done it again. <laughs> right what through. What a left off, beautiful play. <laughs> If you don't like to watch him play, you don't like basketball. Oh, man. Super old school, super good. Monroe left alone. The scout says he can't shoot that. You know what? He can shoot it. Two for five coming into this game. Only a sixth three of the year. Wow. Three threes on the season. Well, 50% we may have to change the, the scouting the report. The players are listening to the coaches, right? <laughs> hey, we're told on the scout, leave him alone. He buries it anyway. Stevenson Moore won't get a lot of room, that's for sure. Over Okris, tough shot. It was challenged. Loose change rebound. Monroe's off to a great start here. 
Moore in traffic, waits for Williams to set up. Moore, good handles on Stevenson Moore. Wow. Pump fake, foul. Quite that great start to the year for Zach Spiker's bunch. One more free throw. That'll be a contrast in styles tomorrow. Towson, tough half court on both ends of the floor. Charleston wanting to get up and down. I can't wait to watch that game. It's gonna be fun. It's Morris Stanford transfer at seven feet into the game. First time for Gino Ford. Provides viable minutes as Coach McCarthy said off the bench now. So enthusiastic about playing. From the time he warms up. His warm ups are fun to watch. No, it's fun to watch two greats again. This guy's just tough to stop. We, every shot is different. You know how you want repetitions, sameness all the time? He said, the heck with that. Fourth leading score, 10 plus a game. Seawolves have four and double figures, and Williams is awesome. Oh, Take gosh. to the 10 for two with a left. Wow, 6'10", six, six, long arm, bouncy. Only three time CAA. Defensive Player of the Year in league history. What an honor for Williams. And what a career in Philadelphia for the minutes and the foul management. I did notice Coach preparing for the game that he only plays 23 minutes a game, which seems low for a star of that caliber. Yeah, and we, uh, preseason Player of the Year, but he's just not going to put up those kinds of numbers. And you just know that Gino Ford draws up that play for Stevenson more because Williams is out of the game. He can't protect the rim when he's on the bench. Yep. Nice take for two. There. Not the same defensive presence. No doubt, take to the basket for the game. Sixth man of the year nominee, most improved player on this team probably from a year ago when he was injured. Sophomore from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Six times for him in double figures. And a good bounce for the Dragons off the bench. Stevenson Moore, Fitzmaurice thinking about a three ball, the big man, a little short this time. Loose rebound. But he, with that much space, he's going to give it a look. Three threes between these two teams so far. High scoring game. Threes were raining in Philly the last time these teams met at the end of February. Clark on cue. Hits a triple. Wow. These guards have absolutely continued the same pace of success as they had last night. Amazing. Ten between Clark and Noel. And Stevenson Moore has got a bucket. Moore at the rim. Get it from three. Long follow. Garfield Turner for two. Very nice. Kind of known as a defender, not the shot blocker that Williams is, but, but, a, but a really good post defender with his position. But that was a nice second shot. Clark, nice take. Fell to the basket. No finish on the baseline layup try. Loose change tie up. Mike Spiker told us that Turner would be a key off the bench to spell Williams. When it comes to crunch time, we'll see a lot of number 22 in the white jersey. A little zone action for Stony Brook. Didn't see much of that last night. I don't think we saw much of it at all. Bergen's kind of a pass first point guard in now. Up top, way off the mark. Bergen's from the Netherlands. We got a big game against Hofstra earlier this year. Had 16 points. Transfer for Oral Roberts. So a lot of subs used by Zach Spiker heading toward the second media timeout we talked about his, his skill set is unreal because you, you drill repetition the same routine the same shot every time he never takes the same shot every time so creative I missed for Clark this time no out of the lineup for now Bergens and company on the move here for Drexel trying to separate a little bit we're staying in that zone right now Williams still out for Drexel Bergens good ball movement up top a miss McGee misfires from three. Rebound for Clark. Stevenson Moore is on the move. Thinking three. Back iron miss. Fitz Morris, long rebound. At the elbow for the seven-footer. Here's the big turnaround. He practices that a lot in warm-ups. Not this time. A jump hook from deep. That's about 12 feet away. Both Bruce and McGee are the both best perimeter options right now against this zone. Williams will check in the next end ball. A bounce. McGee, a finish. Great feed from up top from Yume Butler. Didn't settle for the perimeter against his own. A little back cut into the crease. 
Anytime you get into the gaps of the zone, you've got a chance to break the coverage down. McGee off the bench all 30 games for the Dragons this year. He shot 41% from three in league play, but effective in tight quarters there for Drexel. Stevenson more the ISO, the one-on-one -on -one over McGee. Tough shot. It's more to handle rebound. Stevenson more great hustle. Clark loves the slash through traffic. Bailout for Fry. He travels. Somebody was open, really nice cut by McGee. Borgens, a senior from Europe, plays about 17 minutes a game. Jack Spiker goes pretty deep on the roster. And Chris, the off ball cut. Williams back in at the high post. He'll take that. Lefty, a little awkward looking jumper from about 10. A back iron miss. Look at the hustle. Stevenson Moore kept it alive, comes right to Clark. A reach by Bergens in a foul. That is knee drain more times than he'll ever know. <laughs> Lost count. The treatment he gets just to keep him on the court, keep him upright, and yet he performs at an incredibly high level. Case in point here. From the elbows, got another one. He's perfect. This guy's awesome. <laughs> Maybe knows we're talking about him, coach. Perfect on the day. <laughs> we saw him pregame carrying that huge knee brace out. I mean, the thing looks enormous. Butler on the end, three rattles out. And Snowy has the rebound on the paint here for the Seawolves. Really good hops for Snowy. The electric jumper. No, the back cut. This one blocked by Williams. The old school shot won't go. And Williams is there to shut the door. Okris left low on the end for three. Too strong. Rebound baseline is out of bounds. Player of the year in the CAA. 186 career blocks, coach. Fifth all-time Drexel history. And the man is a force down low. And, and his blocks were down this year, but I think he influenced more shots than right. ever. Right. Zach Spiker told us teams didn't challenge him much at all because they know it's going to happen. Snowdy way short. Good defense from Luke House. On the other end, creating his Bergens. Yeah, that's what he can do. Break you down off the dribble, get a little closer to the rim. Stoneybrook in a run here, one for its last eight from the field. Mido hit his first two. There's one. That's not a block, but he certainly kept that shot from going in the basket. It's an alter, right? It's an effect. It's a... It's an influence. House on the end thinking, Gray's got it. Luke House has got two threes. He's got a ton of shots, but he shoots 40% from out there, and almost 60% of his shots are threes anyway. I like the description of the star drill. They make all those shots in a certain amount of time. We'll yeah. break that down. From all five spots. Yep. Yeah, very cool. Five-star dinner on the line. <laughs> so that's the best part. Mido not this time. If you complete the feat in time, Coach Spiker takes you out to a five-star restaurant. Pretty cool. Here's more. Turns, spins way too strong. He thought he was fouled. He did back in the game, replacing Jamie Bergens. Stevenson Moore trying to change the game here. A back iron miss. Mido up high. Can't find the rebound, but House does. A track down in the corner for Drexel. Oak Bruce has been very good against Stevenson Moore. Hadn't gotten a lot of clean looks at all. House the D2 transfer off the glass. Williams gathers and has a trip to the free throw line here. Some of the big numbers these days. It's a challenge to keep a player like Williams. On. Williams hits two with him. But sometimes Williams on a switch defensively likes to match up with the guards for the other team. Finds it a challenge to physically shut those guys down. Here's no another horse shot, not this time. With a left in the lane and a hook, but he missed everything. He made two of those hook shots yesterday. They would have gone in yesterday, we right? Came up, we came up out of our seats. <laughs> Fun to watch. Eight at 10. 7-0. Dragon run. On a bounce for Turner. House in stride at three. Too strong this time. Okris long rebound. House thought about pulling the trigger again. California University of Pennsylvania transfer. But a big part of the Drexel run of success in Philly for Zach Spiker. Here's more nice through traffic. Circus shot himself. Almost got that. Up and under to go. And a foul call to the rebound. Garfield's first. From Gaithersburg, Maryland. A lot of DMB kids here. District, Maryland, Virginia. It's a big recruiting area for both teams, but especially for Drexel. 
Yeah, this area produces a lot of great basketball. Man, does it ever. It's Morris the back end. Seven feet. Fakes. The lefty. Can't hit this one. It's a good take in deep, but no finish. This time for the seven footer. They had the size advantage over Garfield Turner, but Turner again, a good defender, just not the shot blocker that Amari Williams is. Seawolves Rice call coach. They missed their last seven, one for the last 14. House thought about a three, then a two, and declines both. Moore's not shy. Neither is Okris. The captain, way too strong. Track down, save. Comes out to Moore. What an effort. Fantastic job by Monroe. Okris in the corner. Would have been a dagger. They're trying to stretch the lead, but another miss. So Drexel cools down. Noel trying to take advantage of traffic. Mr. Creativity. Here's Clark, the C's part somehow. Big Drexel offensive breakdown, and Clark lays it in. Yeah, you don't see many of those from Drexel, but all the way to the rim, uncontested. Clark has eight, leads all scores. Couple threes and that layup. Monroe did hit one three. Elbow jumper airborne way off. That's where the scout comes from. Tony Brook really needs to get Stevenson more involved here. Fitzmorris, a two-pointer has got it. I can't give you can't give anybody at this level that much space and that much time. 15 points, team best, six rebounds the last time these teams met. End of February, a classic in Philly. Does not look like it's going to be the same sort of shootout here. More back iron miss. We got off to a fast start in this game, but it's settled down to the half-court game we thought about. Sure has. Kobe McGee back in. When Okrus is not in, McGee is the one on Stevenson Moore. Those two have come in and done a really nice job of keeping him from getting started. One foul on Williams. We'll keep a close eye on that. Here's Clark. Pulls away. Has it. Again. That time they did stay in front of him, but he... Got enough space to get that jump shot off. 6 0, Thunderbrook run, and look at the Seawolves here. That's why we just talked about him. Right. So within four, right on cue. I think the guys can hear us. He's got 10. Clark, only player double figures. House on the end responds. And ends the streak of futility for Drexel. What a 12. For the senior now. captain. Four out of 12 now from outside the arc. Norristown, Pennsylvania, outside Philly. Clark. Ball screen against the zone is a little bit different. You know, it's hard to force them away from that. They've been forcing them away from the ball screen and man-to-man. -man, but in zone, it can be even a little bit more effective than against the man. A cut for House. Not this time. From 10. Loose change for Clark. House takes 200 shots after practice with team managers. From 10 different spots, 20 each. Got to hit 200 before he can go to the locker room and get ready for his next workout. Working well as Fitzmorris hits another deep shot for the Seawolves. Yeah, just inside the arc again. Two face-up jumpers. Helping keep the Seawolves close. A couple of big shots. Right in the game here. House baseline kicks out for more. Thinking three up top. He's got it. Wow, and again... You know, House was the recipient of penetration kick out. This time, he's the penetrator, the kick out to Moore. First points for the sophomore from Archbishop Wood in Philly. He has a season best 34 points scored by a Drexel player in the non con against Bryant. So he's capable of really catching fire and exploding for Drexel. Another look for Fitzmorris. They're going right at Williams, trying to get that second foul, and they've done it. So energetic and so enthusiastic. Watching him warm up is it's a... Misses the second. Track down rebound for Turner. Drexel cooling off. Two for his last 12 after the great start here. Tony Burton back in the man to man. Bergens, the lefty, gets a roll. That's what we talked about. That's where he's effective. Not going to beat you from long range very often, but is really good at penetrating. 
And here's where he's really good at being an on-ball defender. No, trying to get creative again. 17 to shoot through traffic. Oh. Foul. The it just works. Adventure. And he misses the free throw. He missed the first free throw out of Medford, New Jersey. It's the sixth. Nothing quite like these back against the wall games. The Stone Brooks 18 and 14, maybe a postseason event, but they want the big dance. And to get there, they got first on null. Savory Phillip marks up more here. Five seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Eight on the timer here to shoot for Mark. Thought about step back. Launches way off the mark. Long rebound. Geared up. Sided with a defensive stop. Final moments here, first half. Here's Clark to take. He floats. It's way short. And almost put his rebound in. And a buzzer sounds with no foul and no bucket for Stony Brook on the last possession. This one works, and here we go. Winner to the semifinals. Loser sees its season come to an end. See that it's Lucas all about Monroe, the sense of urgency here. Lucas Monroe on Clark defensively. That's an interesting matchup. Steven, some more of the take. Snowdy finds Noel. Right low block. Stevenson Moore is bumped. Especially against a, an elite athlete like Stevenson Caliber to move on in the era of the portal and NIL, but wanted to see Stony Brook win. They got their one win last night. Trompers tournament beat Northeastern, trying to make the semis for the first time. Stony Brook with a little junk defense right here. A little triangle in two. Stevenson Moore elevates and swats. Big block on the defensive end. Now on the offensive side, thinking three's got it. Hey, he and he's heating up going. just like that. Coach McCarthy predicted that one. Don't want to get him going. The free throw trip, then the three. They're actually playing a two-man zone and playing three guys man-to-man. -man. House on the other end has got his 4-3 of the game back. And that, that's the difference right now. He's got more threes than Stony Brook. One hundredth career three came against the Seawolves in that epic game we told you about on February 29th. Steven Samor is definitely heating up now. The free throws, then the two threes, and suddenly he's in the game. See, it happened all the time. Monroe left alone. On a bounce for Williams. Blocked from behind. Snowdy got it. Stevenson Moore thinking another three ball. Can't go back to back to back. That's a factor. See, Stony Brook is guarding House and Moore and Oak Roos and playing a two man zone with Stevenson Moore and Mike. Monroe nice through traffic. Good shot. The lefty off the glass for the grad student. Stevenson Moore, heat check. Other end. Too strong. Long rebound for Okris. If I'm Gino Ford, I want him to keep shooting, though. If he can get a clean look, he should do it. He's got 10 lone Seawolf double figures. House had himself a game. That's his first two-point shot. And up to 14 now for Luke. That was a nice adjustment. Screen for one of the guys they're guarding man-to-man. -man. Nobody there to pick him up. Five for eight from the floor and four or five from three for the captain of the Dragons. Clark on the round to take, no two. Strong rebound for Williams. He's now looking like they're going to go back to man. And who makes the sneaky play? Dean Knoll. It's Knoll again. Not this time, but guess who's got the elevation hammer to follow? Mr. Morris has been everywhere to this game tonight. And he gets the Seawolf fans going. Timeout called. In a 43-36 game, and Williams is really hurting now on the sideline in a lot of pain here for Drexel. This is a big storyline. Yeah, I did not see what happened right there for him to be down where he's at. He was there a little while ago after that last play, but I didn't see what happened on this trip down the floor as we were watching the layup. He's the best. More across the timeline. Here's House. Let's see how Drexel responds with a superstar out for now. Interesting time of the game. Moore for Monroe, 15 to shoot. Moore 
Good handles. He'll drive the paint. Leaves off a Turner. Can't click. Tries again. Lays it in. Really nice play. Turner's an important person on the in this game right now. Because he may get extended minutes. Tony Brook was still in kind of that hybrid defense. Some man-to-man, -man, some zone. But penetration will hurt any kind of defense. Stevenson Moore is free. 20-footer rattles out. Passing this time. Snowdy had it broken up. Great collapse of defense. Monroe, loose change. Here's Moore. Fires for House. Stinking three. He's got it. Luke House has been on fire from deep. He's got five triples in the game tonight. And the red miss for Clark. Monroe, collision with no but no whistle. And Moore settles things in the half court for the Dragons. House has been the man so far. Kick out. Here's Moore thinking three. Not this time. And Snowdy pulls down his fifth rebound of the game. Danger time again for Stonerbrook. We said that Mack in the first half. He made a nice comeback at the very end of half number one. And with Williams in the locker room being treated, Drexel on the move here. Stonerbrook is starting to actually match up right now. Seawolves won for their last eight from the field. House, there's been a house of fire. Kicks into the corner. Okris, open, hits a three. What did we say last night? When they start going in, it gets contagious. First points of the game for the captain. A direct read moment where he comes out of the locker room to, to save the Knicks in the finals. Out for now. We'll keep an eye on that. Steven Samora to bounce. It's Morris the face up. Big height advantage on Turner. Pump fake, spins, baseline, got it. Two more. Yeah, that's a that's a really good matchup in favor of Stony Brook, just based on size alone. Stony Brook jumps into a 2-3 zone. At least they're gonna show a 2-3 zone. 10 for Clark, 10 Stevenson Moore. Now nine Fitz Morris. Top scorers for the Seawolves in this game tonight. Turner kick out. Here's Moore. Thought about a three. House roll. Launch another one. Trying for a career best. Sixth triple in a game. Irritate. He might hold him for a while. Turner's played well off the bench. Williams 15 minutes so far, Mac. House in the baseline. Having a great night. Stevenson Moore has gotten going for the for the Sea Wolves. That's a good sign for Stony Brook. Five to shoot. Almost banked that in a wild angle. Turner. Time to lose change. Mido. Now back to the defensive glass. Fry into the game for Gino Ford. Clark hesitation. Love the night through traffic. Feeds Mido. The pump fake. But no finish. There's the, any Seawolf on the roster. And that's one more free of the CA tournament. Hits the second. Against Doherty and, and uh, in particular Chris Doherty uh, down low. Doherty's last game as a Husky for Northeastern was not a great offensive game. He was limited. Agree, great active defensive effort for Stony Brook. Matt Doherty targeted in the scout. Here's McGee, crossover on Clark. Seven to shoot, lost the handle near the elbow. Bergens, tough shot, baseline. The lefty misfires, Turner, great effort. A take for Butler. Loose change, Sabri Phillip. Fry thought about a deep three in transition. He'll launch off the fake against House and puts it in off the Stony Brook bench. Big shot wow. for three from Jared Fry. Shot fake, take a dribble step. He was gonna shoot the logo through. Wow. Thinking about a Caitlin Clark, Steph Curry three there. Exactly. Logo range. And that started with a defensive play by Aaron Clark on the other end. House can't click. Here we saw Fry practicing the logo threes in warm-up from the P in the championship. <laughs> On this end, he's got some major range. Clark's got some major game. 
Split the split the big heads on the ball screen and pulled up for the 15-footer. Nice play. We'll buy to the quarterfinals. Take on the Fight Blue Hens in our next game tonight. Coach Spiker's got a pretty deep, deep team, but the one place they aren't very deep is in the post. Mm, that'll be interesting to watch. And it's all develops. One more free throw for the Dragons. Wrapping up the regular season as the second seed. Great start for Drexel this year. 7-0 in league play. Best ever start in school history. And ran into a buzzsaw. Some tough road games Coach Spiker told us about. Competitive in all the games where they hit their slump. But still, here they are as the two seed. Excellent season. Clark got hung up. Needs some help. Bailout pass to Fry. Butler's doing a good job. Knows Fry can shoot that basketball. Three to shoot. Fitzmorris out of bounds. Gets the shot off. Just missed it. Awkward delivery. Trying to beat the buzzer. Threw a little contact right there. Incidental, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Coaching, you saw that one, didn't you? Foul. It's a foul. Depend on which Where's bench you're on. <laughs> I know you. Here's more. Through traffic, Fry over him. Butler pump fake. Eight to shoot. Deliberate Drexel possession. Here's Butler. There's two. Like you mentioned, he's had some big games. Kind of runs hot or cold. Zach Spiker is hoping for a hot version tonight. That's right. Yamai Butler, big. Bucket. Had 30 points in a game last year against Hampton, so he can ignite and get going. Miss for the Seawolves from Clark. Stevenson Moore. A little foul trouble after that amazing start to the second half. It's been really quiet. House made noise all night long. The end one. Bottom makes. That takes a minute. I like to have been a fly on that wall at the young yard. Take the day off from the 200 shots. And, and Luke House said, hey, that's my routine, man. I'm going to do it right. anyway. You do what you believe in. Right. That's half of it. If he thinks it's helping him, it's helping him. Mido helps out the Seawolves with a nice take for two. Taking advantage of Amari Williams' absence right there. Has not returned, as Carly's told about, with that hamstring injury. Still on the sideline, hanging out on the bike. Take Monroe can't finish. Fresh 20 here for the Dragons. Moore tries to create on the perimeter. Look at the handles. Little Hezzy. Butler thinking three. Back iron miss. Big rebound for Mido. Fourth board of the night for the Stony Brook big man. Fitz Morris launching a deep shot, hits it. It's a deep two for Ken Fitzmorris, who's come to play tonight into double figures. Really had 11 points, four rebounds. He's had a big impact off the bench. All of a sudden, the Seawolves surge. They've hit five of the last seven to get right back in the game, down by seven. Moore, ankle breaker move there as Clark fell. Butler amongst the tree. Is reminding them of what's going on. House for Monroe. Back for Luke House, three to shoot. Got to launch that one. Over Noel, hits another! This guy's unbelievable! Six threes tonight for Luke House. Rocking the house in D.C. Shot clock running down, hand in his face. You see the two shots after practice, pays off, right? Take, Mido can't click from point blank range. Rebound Monroe, and Drexel trying to pull away again here and put away stubborn Stony Brook. House the fake on the perimeter. Nice recognition by Mado. Monroe on a bounce, picked. It was kicked first, perhaps, of effort from Fitzmorris, that's for sure. No, a little preventive officiating right there. <laughs> I like that. Avoid trouble, right? Butler through traffic. Kick Smart. out Monroe, he is out of bounds. A six total turnovers in a game. Talk about well-played basketball here from D.C. That's something else. High level. Fry the matchup, it's Morris to touch. Fry looking for the pick in a little room. Noel scrapping. Butler's all over him. Noel can't get loose, one of those horse shots we've seen. Six to shoot, pick by Moore. The interception, the dunk. Justin Moore, elevation for Drexel with a hammer. 
Emphatic dunk. Extends the lead to a dozen. Clark trying to change that. Does so with a lefty baseline jumper. Clutch. Quiet the crowd. Stop the run. Savvy. <laughs> Again. Savvy. Grab 14. All right. those and, words. And seven rebounds. You've got the best words. <laughs> Ten to shoot. It's Butler. Not this time. Weeks out. Rebound for Mido. Ten point lead in the media break zone. Park watched by House. Every possession critical here for the Seawolves trying to mount a comeback. And Fitzmorris do it again in the corner. You better believe it. It's a three. The seven footer has got a couple three balls in this game tonight. And what and a it's pass. back to seven. What a pass out of the pass, out of the post by Mondo. Who had them as the heroes on your bingo card? In the Drexel locker room, guys, there's a sign that says, always us. Coach Spiker said what sets this team apart is everyone is bought into their role. There aren't any egos. And tonight, it's Luke House getting it done for the team. Like you said, six for eight from three. Well, or and, vice versa. And lobster, I mean, that's just me, personally. <laughs> He's actually talking to Gino Ford about it. Yeah. Coach says, how you doing? Gino's asking how you doing. I need to know. You all right there? I need to know how you're yeah, doing. Yeah, exactly. You stay in or what? <laughs> you know Gino Ford wants to compete against the best version of oh, Drexel. Always, always. Always a treat to talk to him. He just wants to very badly to beat them. Stevenson Moore was on fire to begin the second half. Cold since, though. Ten to shoot. Mido, nice creation and good finish. Nine points, five rebounds, a couple assists. Mido was playing well. And, of course, getting a lot out of Fitzmores playing them together. It was the guards last night against Northeastern. The Bigs playing really well for Stoner Brook tonight. Another round of miss this time for Bergens. Ooh, I the thought Bergens was, and can't finish. Thought he might throw the lob to Williams right there. Williams was wide open after the ball screen. All right for Matos. Coach talked about balls, Mac. That is a big number to keep an eye on. Only player in the game tonight with four. Clark again stays hot. He sure does. And Zach Spiker was forced to adjust. Has Turner and Williams both in because of Fitzmores and Mado from Stony Brook. Here's Williams. Let's watch how he moves here. Through traffic, got the roll. That's pretty good. Through traffic. I like the way you say that. Rather than contact. <laughs> 8.6 boards for the big guy. Returning from the injury. 16 for Clark. That leads all scores in the game. Even some more, keep a close eye on 14 in the red jersey with the four fouls. Mido the take, the end one. Big shot for. Fitz Morris kept it alive back to Mido. Along with Noel, only two Seawolves starting every game this year. Clark, bothered by Okra, still hits a tough shot. Fallen away, contested and bumped and made it anyway. Clark is really, how many big baskets has he made tonight at critical Man. times? 18 points, seven rebounds, and a one possession game here. Coming off 19 last night. But the story for Stony Brook right now is the big guys performing. More and deep. Bergens can't click from three. Rebound for Phillip. Tough take in traffic. Can't hit this one. Okris loose change rebound in the left low block. Yeah, you can tell by the body language that was not the one Coach Gino Ford was looking for. Not an offensive player. Great rebounder, good athlete. It's a big empty possession. Moore needs help from the elbow. Gets it from Williams. Mismatch with quickness. Mido on the switch out on Moore. And he blocks the shot anyway. He did. You can go by me, but you won't get it off. He dared him to take that through the paint. Clark, player of the game so far for the Seawolves. Maybe a player of the tournament. On a bounce. In deep, the touch, and the back in Fitzmorris. 
Tough shot off the glass for two. Got his body against the bar. Spectacular finish on the horizon. One point game. Fitzmorris and Stonenbrook. A 6-0 run and hit seven of the last eight to storm back into this game and create a great finish. More of the back cut. Plays it in. The feed from Williams. And Amari Williams who takes such pride in his passing. I know he loved that play. Two assists for the big guy. None bigger than that helper. For the one possession game for Clark. Step back, looking for more. Too strong. Clark and Bergens have been going back and forth, jawing a little bit. Rebound for Justin Moore. One double figure score for Drexel tonight. That's House with his 23. Got a career. Best tying six threes. Been awesome from deep. Seven to shoot. Now we're at crunch time. Here's House, thinking two this time. The pump fake on the baseline, hits it. Tough shot for Luke House, and a big one for Drexel. We see him shoot the three this time, gets to the post, a little jump. Most importantly for his Dragons, now a two possession game. Got a game where Amari Williams hasn't been available for a majority of the time. Stevenson Moore does not want to see his Stonybrook career wrap up on the court here tonight, needs some help. Mido the bailout, eight to shoot. Mido the take with the left and one. Two more for a bit. Big free throw. Doesn't can it. Okris the rebound. Mido 59% from the line. And that's a critical miss. Back Spiker willing to work that shot clock down with the three point margin. Ten to shoot. Moore takes his time. Stevenson Moore, four fouls. Moore almost lost at five on the timer. Steps back over Stevenson Moore. Too strong on a three. Weak side rebound for Noel. 40 ticks and counting. Fading second half clock. One possession game. Really good defensive possession by the Seawolves that time. Mido again right to the basket. Elevates and hammers. Goes right past Williams. Frozen in place. Timeout. Just a matter of matchups. Okris, double team. Philip Ball and free throw situation. Keeping the best free throw. High school ball in London. Teammate of Williams. Amazing story there. Second rattles out, two point game. Huge miss. Clark fades away. Not this time. Rebound Mido. The want to incredible. Up, up, and away for Mido. Another dunk. He soars and hammers. To tie the game. Who else at this point? Incredible. In Six seconds for more. Feeds Okris. Final moments. Looking for a win on the baseline. Way short. Williams has got it. It's stripped. He's, he's not, not 100%. Yeah, he's not 100%. There's no way he's all the way healthy. Those last couple dunks from Mido. You so here we go for overtime. You can tell by his body language, he is really upset that he's not out there. Turn it for Bergens. Five up on the clock. And some bonus buckets from D.C. More hesitation. On a bounce, Turner! What a cut, what a dunk. That's so clever of Moore to draw Mido on the help on the ball screen and to find his teammate for the wide open shot. Big, big basket. What a pass. Five dimes for Moore in the game tonight. Clark has been awesome. Mido has been even better. What a second half for this guy. Keeps it going with a jump hook from 10. So much for this note of a limited offensive threat. <laughs> big, big mistake. I mean, the... polar opposite of last night. He's tied his career high with 19. What a game for Mido. That came against Norfolk State in non-con this year. This guy's been awesome, too. House thinking about a career best, and he's got that. Barry's another three. The two guys Seven that got triples us. tonight. The two guys that got us here still playing well. They sure are. Career high, 28 points. Career best, seven threes for Luke House. Pump foul. Not a political statement. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Left-handers these days. You got to say Southpaws or something. 
Gotta be, be clear. Good. We're in DC after all. Sabri Phillip floats way short. Just grazing the twine there and a block before he left the floor. Place. Phillip only eight free throw attempts on the seat. Returns. Sophomore from Columbus, Ohio. Drexel by a bucket and the ball. Moore, bounce pass, Turner. Not this time on a finish, but a college. The first big off the bench for 10 and offensive rebounds in the league. Went to the locker room, got treatment on the extra bike, came back in the game, was not 100%, now on the bench for overtime. Looks like the Dragons are going to have to do it without the three-time offensive player of the year. That's a tall task. Mido try to take advantage of just that. Stick back off the glass. It goes in for Mido. Even when he misses, he makes it. <laughs> <laughs> well said. 20. We'll make it 19 now for Mido. Unbelievable. 21. That's on that last stick back. 10 of 14, a new career best for Mido. We've got to save that line. That's a good one. Turner, good feet again to two men. Yeah, that's been amazing. Gave seven total turnovers tonight. Turner. Doesn't get the second. Okris over the back, but no whistle. Stevenson Moore has the rebound. Ten points, five boards for Stevenson Moore tonight. Yeah, there's not going to be any touch fouls called at this point. It's going to be something egregious. No, the pick from Mido. Drives in, can't hit. There's Mido again with a stick back. Continues the huge game without Williams in there as the rim protector. Things are different for Drexel. Defensively, and Mido's got 23. Pick the quarterfinals of the CAA tournament to have a game of your life. Wow. We're back against the wall. Type game. Mido 11 for 15 from the field. Has been spectacular. All tied again. No side Williams is going to come back in. Turner right back to the free throw line. Turner one for two. Rebound for Noel. One point game. High post pick, Mido. Two man game with Clark, needs a bailout. Knocked out of. No. Trying to create four on the timer. Through traffic. Things a little wild there. He lost that's for Drexel. He learned a long time ago. He don't lead the league in field goal percentage defense, three-point percentage defense, scoring defense. Are you close to it? You're not going to win championships. And they had a great year on that side of the ball. Their first or second in all those. All those categories. Here's Moore over Mito for three. Way too strong. And Sabri Phillip defensive rebound for Stony Brook in a one-point game. About six seconds, the differential game clock, shot clock. Mido brilliant tonight, a career game for him. Height advantage on Turner. Here's the back end. Double team for Moore comes. Mido can't hit it. Turner had the rebound, foul over the back. For six, he's nine and nine in terms of points and rebounds. Misses another big free throw. Makes the second. Do or die game tonight. Here we go. Shot clock turned off. Two point dragon lead. Here's Clark. Who will take the shot? It's Clark off a screen for the tie. He's got it. Aaron Clark knocks the game up at 80. Clutch again. Moore across the timeline in a tie game. Moore baseline for Turner. Lost the handle. Lost it a second time. Clark three-quarter court. Josh Short <laughs> almost won the game for Stony Brook from deep, still no Williams. You know the two guys that are looking forward to this overtime? Mido and House. Oh, I thought you meant Dave and Mac, because we were looking forward to it too. Oh, yeah, I meant on the floor. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Here's House, career night for him already. Good job by Fry. He's known as a shooter, but he's done a good job defensively tonight. Moore gets the pick from Turner. Merkins. Kick out. Moore five of the timer. Pump fake. Tough shot. 
Lane extended, can't hit it, turn her hand, the rebound comes to Stevenson Moore. And here's Stony Brook looking for a lead now. Drexel had the lead in the first overtime. Let's see who's going to get the advantage in the second one. Clark just has that will, coach. He will not see the season end on his watch. Amazing tonight. Stevenson Moore, the leading scorer, has been saddled with four fouls forever, it seems. Launches over Okris, can't hit it, and House has the rebound. Bergen's thinking about a three. Kick back House. He likes that three ball. Not this time, a little short. Stevenson Moore elevates for his sixth rebound of the game. House may have been too wide open. That step in three, looked like he had it. Clark needs help. Bail out. Return to Clark. The will to win. Two more. Clark Eric Clark is Bergen. incredible. Advantage Clark. 23 for Mido, 22 for Clark. And how about Stony Brook with the lead? Moore lost it. Noel takes it. Here's Dean Noel. Challenged by Turner. Stevenson Moore. Tries to Moore to the free throw line. One more. 26 of 31 games, double figures for Stevenson Moore this year. Cans two, and look at Stony Brook with a two possession lead here into the second overtime. Hey, now you feel it's desperation time for Drexel. Yeah, you kind of feel like they almost have to score on this possession. House watched by Stevenson Moore with the four fouls. Trying to get the fifth. Turn around, jumper off the glass, can't hit it. House to want to creates. Okris one more for Moore. Look at the handles, ankle breaker move on Noel. Passing that low for Turner, who goes back to the free throw. Stony Brook. Turner, big free throw. Points nine boards. Hits two big free throws return as well here for Drexel. Second overtime. It's the first you've seen of him right in overtime at all here. Sat out the first OT. Clark, Williams on the ground, hustling hard. Look out, Clark's hurt. Okay, his first free throw appearance of the game. Cans it. Turner's back in. Clark hits two. Back to a two possession game. What a game tonight from DC. Been fun to watch. Double overtime. Nice switch right there. Good communication by Stony Brook. Here's the one that's been getting him in a little bit of trouble. Moore needs help. Clark is hurt off the ball. One more free throw for Yep. Two. Dry, one of two brothers from that family on the Stony Brook roster. Back in for Gino Ford. One possession game. Stevenson Moore. 12.7 boards for him. Over Williams, long three, misfires. Rebound pulled down by Butler. Moore on the move. Kick out Butler. Reverse layup for two and a move. Ties the game. Everybody wants to see more of this. I mean, how many OTs do you want to go through here, Mac? I'm up for three. You Are you? I am good with Let's it. Let's do this. Clark again a three. Back on our miss. Steven some more hand on it. Loose rebound. Who's got it? It's Noel. In amongst the trees. For Mido, hits another shot. 25 for Mido. Extends his career high. And the Seawolves back up by two. Timeout. Out of the timeout, 20 to shoot. Butler watched by Noel. Moore up top, 15 to shoot. He'll float in, way too strong. Butler almost ran away from the rebound for a moment there, then gathers and lays it in. What a shot. Yeah, there were, there were two guys looking at it. Finally, Butler grabs it, makes another really huge basket. They're all big at this point. Wow. In history, in the championship that year, Northeastern, Bill Cohen won his first of two titles, beat the Tribe in the championship game, 
All tied. Will we have three overtimes? Clark, right of the paint, leans in, he's got it! It's the end one for Eric Clark. How about that shot? They this iso guy will not quit. They isoed Aaron Clark against Lucas Monroe. Shot fake. And a chance for a three-point play. And of course he makes it. Three-point game. Here's more. Shot clock turned off. Drexel's got to have something here quickly. More on a bounce. It's kicked there by Mido. Uh, can't reset the shot clock to 20. There's no shot clock. 8.2. Yeah, Stevenson and it's Moore. out of bounds. Stevenson Moore blew up the dribble handoff right there. They were trying to run. And then Moore reacted and pit dribble penetrated. But at this point, they're going to have to go for the three. I don't think they have time to score and create another possession. Nope, not enough time. And Zach Spiker going to draw it up right now. Try to tie this game up. Season. Here we go, 8.2 to go. House gathers. Passes Okris. Three seconds left. Back to House in the corner for the tie. It's way too long. It's a miss. They try to free up House. Here we go. Trying to tie it. Seven tenths on the board. Moore needs somebody. House, it's picked Stevenson Moore. There's the horn. There's the game. Stony Brook advances to the semifinals for the first time in 